Shout out to my buddy Tristan for the idea of this video. So as you guys look around the league today, who do you think has the worst contract in baseball? For me, I think it's pretty easy, Steven Strasburg of the Washington Nationals. Now, before we talk too much about what his contract is, here's some context of how Steven Strasburg became a national. In 2009, Steven Strasburg was taken number one overall in the first round of the draft by, you guessed it, the Washington Nationals. You remember how much hype Bryce Harper had around him when he was drafted? Well, that's the same kind of hype that Steven Strasburg had in 2009. And if you don't believe me, listen to some of the players that got taken after Strasburg. Zach Wheeler was taken number six. Nolan Arenado was taken 59th overall. Paul Goldschmidt was taken almost 300 picks later. A fellow teammate of Steven Strasburg, Patrick Corbin, which another guy that's on a horrendous deal for that Washington Nationals ball club. Yeah, that that could be a video in itself. He was taking 80 picks after Strasburg. But the craziest thing of all, there's a man named Michael Trout. I don't know if you've heard of him. He was taking 25th overall, so 24 picks after Steven Strasburg. So yeah, I think it's easy to say there was some crazy hype around Steven Strasburg. Of course, nobody knew that Mike Trout would become the best player of this generation, not named Shohei Otani. You see, Steven Strasburg was hyped all through his career leading up to 2019 with the Nationals, but 2019 is when Steven Strasburg really made made a name for himself with that fan base and with baseball in general. Because if you guys remember, the Washington Nationals were probably, in my opinion, the most fun team to watch in 2019. Steven Strasburg had a career year that year. In 33 starts, Strasburg racked up 209 innings with a 3.32 ERA and a whip at 1.03. But something you don't see in the game today is the fact that Steven Strasburg struck out 251 batters in 209 innings that gets you paid. But that's not all the Nationals did in 2019. As you might remember, they won the World Series. And I mean, they weren't everyone's first pick to win the World Series, but after they won it, you kind of understood why. I mean, you have a career year from Steven Strasburg paired up with a really good Patrick Corbin. Oh yeah, and a guy named Max Scherzer that was absolutely dominant when he was with the Nationals. He still is pretty dominant. But then you have an offense that has Trey Turner, Anthony Rendon, and Juan Soto in the middle of that lineup. And then there were smaller pieces around the squad that really helped make this squad the best team in baseball that year. They won the World Series. But that's where things would begin to fall apart for the Washington Nationals because they signed one of, if not the worst contract in baseball, to their starting pitcher, Steven Strasburg, on a seven-year, $245 million deal. That's $35 million a year. And look, some organizations, they can handle that kind of debt if it doesn't work out. Teams like the Dodgers, the Mets, the Yankees, they can handle that. And the Nationals, on the other hand, well, they can't. But to be fair, the Nationals were dealt a tough hand. They had just won the World Series, and they had two core pieces of that team becoming free agents in Steven Strasburg and Anthony Rendon. And with Soto being up in the air on if he was going to be extended or not, the Nationals wanted to try to get somebody to be the face of that organization. They chose wrong. But they wouldn't have chose right by picking Rendon either because he's been dreadful with the Angels. And as we all know now... Soto got traded in a massive prospect haul to the San Diego Padres, and he's gone too. So realistically, the Nationals are just going to have to hope and pray that some of these prospects coming up, these prospects that were in that trade for Soto, can make a difference at the big league level. Because until Patrick Corbin and Strasburg's contracts are off the books, they're kind of screwed. Because at the end of the day, when you're giving 35-ish million dollars to Steven Strasburg, it's not a good idea. I mean, Garrett, that's Garrett Cole money. Garrett Cole's making around $36 million a year. Jacob deGrom just signed a massive deal with the Texas Rangers, and he's only making $30 million a year. Yes, I know he's older than Strasburg was when Strasburg signed that contract, but at the end of the day, Jacob deGrom is the most dominant pitcher in baseball when he's healthy. But that's just it, man. Steven Strasburg, even in his best season, is nowhere near deGrom's level. I mean, since that contract has been signed, Steven Strasburg hasn't even been a serviceable pitcher. Following that contract since the start of 2020, Strasburg has only started in eight games. That's right, eight games since 2020. What has he done in those eight games? Well, he's only pitched 30 innings, five innings in 2020. He had 21 innings the following year. He only pitched in four innings. He had an ERA over 10 in two of those seasons, 
and his best season so far since that contract signing was when he pitched 21 innings in 2021 and had a 4.57 ERA. That's not going to cut it. Even if you're only making four or five million dollars, you could get cut for that kind of performance. And look, I'm not trying to shame Steven Strasburg. I'm sure if he could have stayed healthy and stayed on the mound, this contract would have in some ways been worth it to the Nationals. I think he would have put up some good numbers, but Steven Strasburg has lost his fastball. He doesn't throw as hard as he used to. The break on his pitches on that curveball, that big curveball, it's not the same. He doesn't have his two main strikeout pitches and he was a strikeout pitcher. So if he can't stay healthy long enough to get a feel for those pitches again, I think his career could honestly be over. And I'm sorry, Nationals fans, because that really takes you out of the free agent market for a long time because there's still four years, $140 million left on that contract. But hopefully there's some good moments ahead for the Nationals. Nats fans, I'm praying for you. I hope it gets better. But let me know in the comment section down below if you guys agree or disagree. To me, this is the worst contract in the game at the moment, like by far. His teammate Patrick Corbins is right there with him. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Peace. I love you. I'll see you in the next one.